Welcome to Classroom Management Practice 4, Encouraging Appropriate Behavior. Encouraging Appropriate Behavior is comprised of behavior lesson plans, preventative prompts, behavior-specific praise, individual reinforcers, and group contingencies. Let's start learning! Why make encouraging appropriate behavior a centerpiece of your classroom management? Well, wouldn't you like to improve behavior by 80%? Just by pointing out what people are doing correctly? Your first step is to put behavior lesson plans in place. Have a written plan or schedule for teaching and practicing an expectation rule or routine. They're cool tools, purposeful lesson plans for teaching expected behaviors. You might be thinking, but I already have so much to teach. Let me tell you why and how. You can make behavior lesson plans part of your day. A recent review of research on classroom rules showed that one of the most important characteristics of effective classroom rules is teaching the rules to students. Remember that your students come to you from many different backgrounds and have many different places where there are different expectations. Making behavior lesson plans part of your classroom gives students a clear understanding of your expected behaviors. It sets a baseline and it teaches new social emotional competencies. How can you put behavior lesson plans in place? Use your classroom matrix to identify what you want to teach. Use school cool tools or your own lesson plans as a model. And circle back and engage in ongoing intentional practice and reteaching. Now let's talk about using preventative prompts or pre-corrects. Preventative prompts or pre-corrects are simply prompting expected behavior just prior to when it is needed. Why use preventative prompts? Well, you're creating an environment that sets students up for success. Some tips when you use preventative prompts are to use a pleasant tone of voice. Remind your students what you expect just prior to the need. Use school-wide language such as, it is respectful, it is responsible, and be as consistent as possible in your expectations. Now let's learn about behavior-specific praise. Why should you make behavior-specific praise part of your classroom practice? Well, it's important because it gives students feedback about their performance in class. It also helps to build relationships. Let's learn more. When you concentrate on using behavior-specific praise in your classroom, it can help you establish a 5 to 1 ratio of praise to corrections. Research has discovered that people who build strong relationships in families, in schools, in business, all use the magic ratio. Five instances of praise for every one correction. The steps of behavior-specific praise are to one, identify the student or group, two, include a term of praise, three, describe the rule being recognized, and four, link to the school-wide expectations. Individual reinforcers are the physical items you use to acknowledge positive behaviors. The Husky Hero, the J-Buck, the Marble. They are tangible reminders to the adult to provide behavior-specific praise. When you use individual reinforcers in your classroom, it helps you focus on the skills you want to see. When you focus on a behavior, you get more of it. So focus on the positive. This is not a shaming system and focuses only on positive behavior. PBIS teaches us to use individual reinforcers across the whole school setting, whether it's building-wide, in the classroom, or in smaller settings like small group or individually. Building-wide, your Tier 1 team will use data to focus on specific behaviors, times, and settings. In your classroom, individual reinforcers should be the same token that's used building-wide. You can use data to target specific behaviors, times of the day, days of the week. And remember, use positive reinforcement five times for every one correction. In small group or one-on-one -on -one settings, use the same reinforcer token. Focus on desired behaviors and remember the five to one ratio. Now let's talk about group contingencies. 
Group contingencies are group social rewards that are earned based on members of the class accruing a preset number of gotchas. Gotchas could be your positive reinforcers, your husky heroes, your J-Bucks, earned over a period of time. Or it could be a smaller period of time, like correct behaviors that are seen during the course of a lesson. A group contingency could be as simple as a dance party when everyone is working well in small groups and you will notice at least 10 kids doing the right thing, or a pizza party when the kids have done great all month long. Use group contingencies in your classroom to emphasize desired behaviors and crowd out negative ones, to build community in your classroom, to provide lots of practice for students to do the right thing, to reinforce your expectations, rules, and routines, and give you opportunity to provide behavior-specific praise. Start small. Identify a few times during your day where you could use group contingencies to change undesirable behaviors to desired behaviors. Then as you get better, you can layer larger, less frequent rewards on top for bigger celebrations. When you use behavior lesson plans, preventative prompts, behavior-specific praise, individual reinforcers, and group contingencies, you are creating a trauma-informed classroom. You will teach and increase the use of desired social-emotional competencies among those who need it the most. You may remember, for a normally developing child, most of their brain can be used for cognition and social-emotional skills. For a child in crisis, or a child who has experienced many instances of trauma, much more of their brain goes to survival and regulation, and they have relatively little resources for social-emotional skills or cognition. When you use these tools to encourage appropriate behavior, you will be building relationships with your students, and building relationships with students is how we ensure academic success. When you encourage appropriate behavior in your classroom, you are connecting with Domain 2 of the Danielson Framework. Thanks for watching.